viewers, Rectangular back, this time with another Marvel Legends news update. First, I want to make some corrections about the last update I did regarding the two upcoming waves of Marvel Legends for Captain America Civil War. I was missing the UPC number for Nuke, and I went back and added an annotation for that. Also, I was given additional information after my video went live that we are also going to be getting Tigra in, in one of the waves coming up this summer. So, very exciting news. Um, very much looking forward to Tigra. And, yeah, the, the, the old one that we have um, definitely needs an update. So, really looking forward to a Tiger with really good articulation. Uh, also, I speculated that the the Age of X figure was uh, possibly going to be an X-Men character, but now we know it is going to be a Captain America in his Age of X costume. So here are some photos of what that looks like. And also, I think that, oh, at the end of the video, I mentioned that one of the possible Build-A-Figures for this year might be A-Bomb, and I was incorrect. Um, the figure that they showed at San Diego Comic-Con a while back was Abomination, and, you know, they're pretty similar looking here. These are the Marvel Universe figures, but um, yeah, they're totally separate characters. The The image that was put up by San Diego Comic-Con uh, Hasbro staff was black and white, so you know, we couldn't tell if it was green or blue, um, but you know, I went back and watched the video and it was definitely Abomination. I think one of the fans in the crowd asked about A-Bomb and Dwight hinted that we might be getting A-Bomb down the road. So um, it's frustrating because the Toy Biz Abomination is still a great figure and you know there's nothing wrong with it um, and we really need an A-Bomb. So getting into the new information that I have today. A seller in China put up a pre-order for the first wave that I uncovered and so now we know what the case assortment is going to be. Uh, it looks like wave one is going to be Nuke, uh, Combatant Blue which is going to be the movie Captain America, Hero Battler Red, which would be the movie Iron Man, uh, Red Guardian, Nick Fury, and the Hero Ace Red 2 uh, is going to be Black Panther. So, very exciting. It's going to be six figures in this wave. And the next bit of information, there are movie potential movie spoilers um, if you don't want to know one of the reveals that's going to happen in Captain America Civil War, then uh, you might want to mute the video and fast forward until I get past this part or um, wait until you watch the movie, I don't know. But the new information that we have regarding this first wave, spoilers, is that the Build-A-Figure is going to be Giant Man and it is Movie Giant Man which is Scott Lang or Ant-Man uh, just in a larger uh, scale so it's gonna be the same movie costume as Ant-Man just elongated to be Giant Man. Also um, this mystery photo of the back packaging from the first wave which we can assume is official uh, also shows the Nick Fury figure 
you know, I had speculated that it was going to be Commander Nick Fury with the the basically the ultimate Nick Fury in the Commander Rogers costume, but it looks like we're going to be getting a classic Nick Fury or the Shield Agent Nick Fury um, from you know the original Nick Fury, and I don't know if it's going to be on the Bucky Cap mold. That's what I'm assuming it will be. Don't know if we're going to get a new mold. Um, here's a picture of a custom that uh, Glenn Webb did. But um, yeah, so far, you know, it's a pretty decent wave, you know, for a mo movie figure wave, but there's no females, so that's a little bit disappointing. The good news is that now we know what wave three is going to be. So, uh, as I reported earlier, there's going to be King Cobra, Tigra, Iron Skull, Captain America, Age of X, Captain Britain, Crossbones, and now we know it is definitely going to be a movie Scarlet Witch. Uh, the reason I... I'm pretty confident in saying that is that we got this post from on a message board the about the Nuremberg Toy Fair somebody who in, attended that toy fair in Germany um, somebody calling themselves the Scarlet Bitch <laughs> uh, from Belgium uh, attended the toy fair and Here's her post talking about a six-inch Civil War Scarlet Witch on the shelf, very accurate to Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, a six-inch Red Skull with Iron Man kind of armor, which we knew about. Um, they also showed the Marvel Legends Doctor Strange box art. So that's pretty cool that we're you know, getting closer to having those figures released. Um, he also talked about a three and three quarter inch Thor two pack with Jane Foster, um, Jane Foster Thor, and then Thor Odinson wielding uh, Bronheim. Uh, Twelve inch action figures with lots of articulation and interchangeable hands and heads. Spider Man, Captain America, Iron Man comic style. Um, I guess two and a half inch figures for a playset and no Civil War Spider-Man anywhere so very cool uh, glad to get that confirmation that it's going to be a, a movie Scarlet Witch the uh, Hot Toys figure here turned out really nice so hopefully they can pull off the same costume in six inch scale and finally I do have some more information regarding potential exclusives coming out of at least one store but my source wanted to keep that information under wraps until Toy Fair when, when uh, things will end up getting revealed then so I have uh, friends in the community that will be reporting uh, from Toy Fair in a few weeks so um, definitely stay tuned for that and for those who want to take my information and not give me credit, we have a saying in the community or name for you type of people. And I'm just going to leave that here.